everyone. Let us discuss precocious puberty. But before that, let's gain a brief idea on what is puberty. Puberty is a process of physical changes in which a child's body matures into an adult body and is capable of reproduction. Even though puberty is mostly related to physical changes, adolescence is the period when an individual experiences an overall change including mental, physical, emotional, social and spiritual as well. The normal age of developing puberty is 9 to 13 years in girls and 10 to 14 years in boys. The most noteworthy changes in an individual during puberty are the changes in height and weight, which happens due to growth spurt. Growth spurt is followed by development of secondary sexual characteristics. The first sign of puberty is development of breasts, called as thylarchy. Breast budding usually appears between the ages 9 to 11 years. It is then followed by pubic and axillary hair development called as adrenarchy. We also notice voice changes in girls and boys where the voice of boys turn deeper becoming hoarse and low pitched and that of girls become high pitched. This change occurs due to the increase in the size of larynx also called as voice box. Boys also develop beard and moustache. The final stage indicates complete development of sexual organs and genitals in both girls and boys, making them capable of reproduction. Menarche or the onset of first menstrual period is an important milestone achieved in girls during puberty. It is also important to know what brings about the pubertal changes in an individual. So, the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis is working hard backstage in carefully carrying out these pubertal changes. The hypothalamus secretes GnRH, that is, the gonadotropin releasing hormone, which then stimulates the anterior pituitary to release follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, bringing about the release of sex hormones, that is, estrogen and progesterone in females and testosterone predominantly in males. The onset of puberty before 8 years in girls and before 9 years in boys is labeled as precocious puberty in which there is early development of secondary sexual characteristics which ultimately leads to early onset puberty. The causes of precocious puberty primarily are divided into central causes and peripheral causes. If the cause is central, it is gonadotropin dependent as it is triggered by the hypothalamus in the brain and if the cause is peripheral, it is gonadotropin independent as it is driven by the sex hormones secreted from the adrenal glands, ovaries or testes. The centrally mediated precocious puberty is primarily due to early activation of hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, early release of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, which ultimately leads to overproduction of gonadal or sex hormones. The early activation of hypothalamus could be due to any of these abnormalities including a tumor in the brain or spinal cord secreting gonadotropin releasing hormone or human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, an infection or cyst in the brain, benign hematomas, radiation or injury to the brain or spinal cord or genetic disease called McCune-Albright syndrome. There are also cases where the cause can be unknown or idiopathic. In peripherally mediated precocious puberty, there is no hypothalamic pituitary gonadal activation and it is primarily due to overproduction of estrogen and testosterone which could be due to a tumor in the ovaries, testes or adrenal glands. It could be due to thyroid or adrenal dysfunction or exposure to endogenous sex hormones via medications or creams. For example, the child's parent is using any kind of cream that contains steroids in it and the child is accidentally getting exposed to them. Now, as we discussed earlier, 
there could be no identifiable cause for precocious puberty it is important to note that 90 percent cases of precocious puberty in females is idiopathic and is vice versa in boys that means 90 percent of times there is an underlying pathology involved leading to precocious puberty in boys which needs prompt evaluation precocious puberty leads to short stature as there is a decline seen in bone development after an individual hits puberty the child also undergoes a lot of emotional and social stress as he or she is usually unprepared for the drastic changes that puberty brings along. Now, the key is to differentiate whether it is central or peripheral precocious puberty, which can be done with the help of the following investigations. Bone age is the initial test. X-rays of the child's hands and wrists can be helpful in diagnosing precocious puberty. The X-rays can show if the bones are growing too quickly. Thyroid testing can show if the child has hypothyroidism, which is one of the cause of precocious puberty. Blood tests can be done to measure the hormone levels. So, if the cause is central, we see increased levels of LH and FSH. One thing to be noted is that in both central and peripheral precocious puberty, we see elevated levels of sex hormones, but in peripheral precocious puberty, the LH and FSH would be low due to the negative feedback mechanism. Other tests involve MRI of the brain with extra focus high resolution images of the pituitary to rule out any intracranial tumor, infections, or any other pathology that could be leading to central precocious puberty. Pelvic ultrasound can guide us if the gonads show precocious enlargement or the presence of any tumors or cysts leading to peripheral precocious puberty. Do consider to like, share and subscribe to the channel if the topic was useful to you. Follow me on Instagram for more such helpful medical topics. Thank you.